The Brayton cycle is a thermodynamic cycle that describes the workings of a constant pressure heat engine. Gas turbine engines and air-breathing jet engines use the Brayton cycle. Although the Brayton cycle is usually run as an open system, it is conventionally assumed for the purposes of thermodynamic analysis that the exhaust gases are reused in the intake, enabling analysis as a closed system. The engine cycle is named after George Brayton, the American engineer who developed it, although it was originally proposed and patented by Englishman John Barber in 1791. It is also sometimes known as the dual cycle. The Ericsson cycle is similar to the Brayton cycle but uses external heat and incorporates the use of a regenerator. There are two types of Brayton cycles, open to the atmosphere and using internal combustion chamber or closed and using a heat exchanger. History In 1872, George Brayton applied for a patent for his ready motor, a reciprocating constant pressure engine. The engine used a separate piston compressor and expander, with compressed air heated by internal fire as it entered the expander cylinder. The first versions of the Brayton engine mixed vaporized fuel with air as it entered the compressor by means of a heated surface carburetor, the fuel slash air was contained in a reservoir slash tank and then it was admitted to the expansion cylinder and burned. As the fuel slash air mixture entered the expansion cylinder it was ignited by a pilot flame. A screen was used to prevent the fire from entering slash returning to the reservoir. In early versions of the engine, this screen sometimes failed and an explosion would occur, but in 1874 Brayton solved the explosion problem by adding the fuel just prior to the expander cylinder. The engine now used heavier fuels such as kerosene and fuel oil. Ignition remained pilot flame. Brayton produced and sold ready motors to perform a variety of tasks like water pumping, mill operation, even marine propulsion. Critics of the day claimed the engines ran smoothly and had an efficiency of about 17%. Brayton cycle engines were some of the first internal combustion engines used for motive power. In 1881 John Holland used a Brayton engine to power the world's first successful self-propelled submarine, the Fenian ram John Philip Holland's submarine is preserved in the Patterson Museum in the old Great Falls Historic District of Patterson, New Jersey. In 1878, George B. Selden produced the first internal combustion automobile. Inspired by the internal combustion engine invented by George Brayton displayed at the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia in 1876, Selden began working on a smaller lighter version, succeeding by 1878, some eight years before the public introduction of the Benz patent motor wagon in Europe. The Selden auto was powered by a three-cylinder, 400-pound version of the Brayton cycle engine which featured an enclosed crankshaft. Selden designed and constructed the engine with the help of Rochester machinist Frank H. Clement and his assistant William Gum. He filed for a patent on May 8, 1879. His application included not only the engine but its use in a four-wheeled car. He then filed a series of amendments to his application which stretched out the legal process resulting in a delay of 16 years before the patent was granted on November 5, 1895. Henry Ford fought the Selden patent. Ford argued his cars used the four-stroke auto cycle and not the Brayton engine shown used in the Selden auto. Ford won the appeal of the original case. Models A Brayton type engine consists of three components, a compressor, a mixing chamber, an expander, in the original 19th century Brayton engine, ambient air is drawn into a piston compressor, where it is compressed. Ideally an isentropic process. The compressed air then runs through a mixing chamber where fuel is added, an isobaric process. The heated, pressurized air and fuel mixture is then ignited in an expansion cylinder and energy is released, causing the heated air and combustion products to expand through a piston cylinder. Another ideally isentropic process. Some of the work extracted by the piston cylinder is used to drive the compressor through a crankshaft arrangement. The term Brayton cycle has more recently been given to the gas turbine engine. This also has three components, a gas compressor, a burner, an expansion turbine, ideal Brayton cycle, isentropic process, ambient air is drawn into the compressor, where it is pressurized. Isobaric process, the compressed air then runs through a combustion chamber, where fuel is burned, 
heating that Euro Euro a constant pressure process, since the chamber is open to flow in and out, isentropic process, the heated, pressurized air then gives up its energy, expanding through a turbine. Some of the work extracted by the turbine is used to drive the compressor. Isobaric process, heat rejection. Actual Brayton cycle, adiabatic process, compression. Isobaric process, heat addition, adiabatic process, expansion. Isobaric process, heat rejection. Since neither the compression nor the expansion can be truly isentropic, losses through the compressor and the expander represent sources of inescapable working inefficiencies. In general, increasing the compression ratio is the most direct way to increase the overall power output of a Brayton system. The efficiency of the ideal Brayton cycle is, where is the heat capacity ratio? Figure 1 indicates how the cycle efficiency changes with an increase in pressure ratio. Figure 2 indicates how the specific power output changes with an increase in the gas turbine inlet temperature for two different pressure ratio values. The highest temperature in the cycle occurs at the end of the combustion process, and it is limited by the maximum temperature that the turbine blades can withstand. This also limits the pressure ratios that can be used in the cycle. For a fixed turbine inlet temperature, the network output per cycle increases with the pressure ratio and the network output. With less work output per cycle, a larger mass flow rate is needed to maintain the same power output, which may not be economical. In most common designs, the pressure ratio of a gas turbine ranges from about 11 to 16. Methods to increase power The power output of a Brayton engine can be improved in the following manners, reheat, wherein the working fluid a euro in most cases a euro euro expands through a series of turbines, then is passed through a second combustion chamber before expanding to ambient pressure through a final set of turbines. This is the advantage of increasing the power output possible for a given compression ratio without exceeding any metallurgical constraints. The use of an afterburner for jet aircraft engines can also be referred to as reheat. It is a different process in that the reheated air is expanded through a thrust nozzle rather than a turbine. The metallurgical constraints are somewhat alleviated, enabling much higher reheat temperatures. Reheat is most often used to improve the specific power, and is usually associated with a drop in efficiency. This effect is especially pronounced in afterburners due to the extreme amounts of extra fuel used. Overspray, wherein, after a first compressor stage, Water is injected into the compressor, thus increasing the mass flow inside the compressor, increasing the turbine output power significantly and reducing compressor outlet temperatures. In a second compressor stage the water is completely converted to a gas form, offering some intercooling via its latent heat of vaporization. Methods to improve efficiency The efficiency of a Brayton engine can be improved in the following manners, increasing pressure ratio, as figure 1 above shows, Increasing the pressure ratio increases the efficiency of the Brayton cycle. This is analogous to the increase of efficiency seen in the Otto cycle when the compression ratio is increased. However, there are practical limits when it comes to increasing the pressure ratio. First of all, increasing the pressure ratio increases the compressor discharge temperature. This can cause the temperature of the gases leaving the combustor to exceed the metallurgical limits of the turbine. Also, the diameter of the compressor blades becomes progressively smaller in higher pressure stages of the compressor. Because the gap between the blades and the engine casing increases in size as a percentage of the compressor blade height as the blades get smaller in diameter, a greater percentage of the compressed air can leak back past the blades in higher pressure stages. This causes a drop in compressor efficiency, and is most likely to occur in smaller gas turbines. Finally, as can be seen in Figure 1, the efficiency levels off as pressure ratio increases. Hence, there is little to gain by increasing the pressure ratio further if it is already at a high level. Recuperator A recuperator is a heat exchanger that acts as a counter flow energy recovery device positioned within the supply and exhaust air streams of an air handling system, in order to recover the waste heat. In many processes, Heat is generated in the combustion chamber by combustion, and the recuperator helps in reclaiming this heat, for reusing or recycling. 
adding a recuperator to the system can increase the overall efficiency of the Brayton cycle. For example, a gas turbine engine works on the basic Brayton cycle. In this gas turbine engine, gas is compressed, mixed with fuel which is then burned and then produces power in the turbine. The recuperator transfers some of the waste heat in the exhaust to the compressed air, thus preheating it before entering the fuel burner stage. Since the gases have been preheated, less fuel is needed to heat the gases up to the turbine inlet temperature. Because some of the energy is recovered, the recuperator increases the efficiency of the cycle. This feature is only available if the exhaust heat is not used otherwise, as in cogeneration or combined cycle applications. A Brayton engine also forms half of the combined cycle system, which combines with a Rankine engine to further increase overall efficiency. However, although this increases overall efficiency, it does not actually increase the efficiency of the Brayton cycle itself. Cogeneration systems make use of the waste heat from Brayton engines, typically for hot water production or space heating. Variants Closed Brayton cycle A closed Brayton cycle recirculates the working fluid, the air expelled from the turbine is reintroduced in the compressor, this cycle uses a heat exchanger to heat the working fluid instead of an internal combustion chamber. The closed Brayton cycle is used for example in closed cycle gas turbine and space power generation. Solar Brayton cycle In 2002 a hybrid open solar Brayton cycle was operated for the first time consistently and effectively with relevant papers published, in the frame of the EU Solgate program. The air was heated from 570K to over 1000K into the combustor chamber. Further hybridization was achieved during the EU Solico project running a hybridized Brayton cycle with solar energy and biodiesel only. Reverse Brayton cycle, a Brayton cycle that is driven in reverse, via network input, and when air is the working fluid, is the air refrigeration cycle or Bell-Coleman cycle. Its purpose is to move heat, rather than produce work. This air cooling technique is used widely in jet aircraft for air conditioning systems utilizing air tap from the engine compressors. See also, George Brayton slash Inventor, Selden Automobile, Engineering, Gerota, Heat Engine, HVAC, References, According to Gas Turbine History, Frank A. Taylor, Catalogue of the Mechanical Collections of the Division of Engineering, United States National Museum Bulletin 173. 147 A. Improvement in Gas Engines. Google Patent Search. Retrieved July 29, 2007. A. Improvement in Gas Engines. Google Patent Search. Retrieved July 29, 2007. A. Holland Submarines. Patterson Friends of the Great Falls. Retrieved July 29, 2007. A. Vice, H. Eugene. Chrysler, Ford. Durant, and Sloan. McFarland. ISBN A 0 7864 4 1611-4 US 549160 A Patent PDF, Lester C. Lichty, Combustion Engine Processes, 1967, McGraw-Hill, Inc., Lib. of Congress 67-10876, HTTP, Webmit edu propulsio no d27 html ideal cycle equations, MIT lecture notes, and Engel, Yanis A., and Michael A. Bowles. 9-8. Thermodynamics, an engineering approach. 7th ed. New York, McGraw-Hill, 2011. 508-09. Print. HTTP www.max-boost.co Arc Resources Swirl Flash WIPDF, Brayton Thermodynamic Cycler, Research, Solico.com Retrieved January 9, 2012, External Links, Today in Science Article on Brayton Engine, HTTP, Citation Ape Orgs of Lit Geet Obsivlet. Prog equals normal and it equals JSEED 00012600003080087200001 and it type equals CVIPS and JIFS equals yes, HTTP, ellipse DLADA, test and evaluation of a solar powered gas turbine system.